Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to uh, another landscape photography vlog. I'm back in uh, Malham today, um, doing some more stuff for my uni project, uh, like I did in, I think it was two videos ago, um, with the walls, making sort of abstract images on the landscape. Um, so yeah, today I've come back out to Malham to find some more walls and explore it a bit more, because I explored like a quarter of it last time I was here, so it's good to get back out. I've not made a video for a while, so bear with me. I'm still videoing on the iPhone. It's minus three today, but it's an absolutely stunning day, so hopefully the battery won't die on the uh, on the phone. So yeah, I'm gonna head um, down towards Gordale Scar, I think it's called. Um, and just take a look around there because I've never been there um, before. So I'm just going to see what's what, really. Um, I'm not going to be videoing any of the war stuff today. Um, I'm just going to be videoing uh, some waterfalls. There's a waterfall I've got in mind uh, on the way to Gordale. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to carry on walking. Enjoy. This amazing day, bit of snow, sun's out, no clouds, which is a bit disappointing. <laughs> um, but you can't please us Brits, eh? So, onwards and upwards, let's go. So that was a good start to the day. Um, I think it's called Janet Foss, Janet Foss, that waterfall that I was just at. Um, it's not very difficult to get to, so if anybody fancies a, fancies a look at it, um, yeah, it's pretty much in Malham. Um, so I'm gonna carry on now. I've got a few shots then. I didn't record anything just because there were so many people there. I really didn't expect that. Um, so, a bit shy vlogging in front of people at the moment, so hopefully that'll come in time. I'm gonna head uh, over to Gordel Scar now, um, which 
isn't that far from here really it's just I'm sort of looking at it sort of behind me down there so a short walk and hopefully we'll get some good shots um, yeah I've got a few different compositions as you've already seen um, let me know which one you think is the best out of the, out of the bunch um, so yeah, going to carry on to Gordale Scar. Uh, like I say, never been there before, so it's going to be an interesting one. So yeah, let's go. scar and it's quite loud um, so hopefully you can hear me but it's incredible it's absolutely massive um, yeah there's nobody here now but there was a lot of people on the path um, so I'm quite happy uh, that everyone's gone um, it's absolutely stunning uh, I've no idea what I'm gonna do for a composition yet because um, sometimes I feel when you see somewhere or see something so big and grand it's so hard to, to find something within it um, but wow it's just, the scale of it is huge I didn't think it would be this big even though that might sound a bit daft <laughs> but wow so I'm going to carry on looking for a composition um, Hopefully we can get something quite nice. There's a lot of ice in the uh, in the river at the bottom, so I'm hoping uh, that we can we can get some of that in the in the picture in the image. Okay, so first composition's found, uh, and it's quite high up. It's all the way up there. Um, I got my 85 mm lens on at f11, one eighth of a second ISO 200, um, and yeah, it's just these little green uh, sort of bushes, trees, just on the edge of the um, edge of the quite cliff face and they just pop out, they're really vibrant greens against this really sort of brown grey um, rock um, so yeah, hopefully that'll come out quite nice um, there's not much to it, there's no filters, there's nothing nothing fancy, just tripod, camera, telephoto lens and yeah, let's see how it looks. So, let's take the image. I'm just going to pop a two second timer on as well. Let's try that again. And that'll be quite nice. spent the morning taking some regular landscape shots now just heading out of the out of Gordel Scar I uh, struggled with it to be honest yeah I did struggle with it um, I got a, I got a shot that hopefully should be okay it's a focus stacked image f11 three images focus on the back of the image focus on the mid ground focus on the foreground um, so hopefully that turns out okay. You'll have already seen it. So let me know what you think of that one. Uh, but that was the only shot I did actually get there, just because I couldn't really. I struggled for a composition, and as I was uh, sort of taking that image that I got, a lot of people came. Uh, started sort of taking taking images which is obviously fine 
but um, the only image that I wanted had would have had people in it, so I can always come back. Um, so I'm heading up high now because I'm wanting to get some wall images, uh, some abstract wall images for my university project. And last time I was here, I spotted this sort of row of walls in the direction I'm heading in now. And it looked really promising, but I didn't have enough time last time I was here. So I uh, thought I'd come back today and see if it, see if it uh, works as a composition. If not, I'm gonna head to the other side near Malham Cove and explore the other half of that. So, onwards and upwards, and if there's any other sort of regular landscape shot, I'll uh, be sure to, to try and vlog it. But I'm gonna keep the wall shots to the uh, video, or two videos ago. Um, so if you wanna see what I'm going on about, uh, go over to that video and you'll see what I'm talking about. But I'll stop chatting because I'm out of breath, as you can probably tell. And I'm going to carry on heading up. So, see you in a bit. Decided to have a little break. Uh, since I last spoke to you guys, it's been about three, three hours, two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. And uh, I've just come to the top, right to the top of Malm Cove, and the views are just amazing. Um, I think it's about three o'clock, so. A possibility that I might stay for uh, sunset because there's some really nice uh, high clouds, some gaps as well. I'm hoping they're in the horizon uh, as well. So it could be an epic sunset, but we've got clouds over here which are quite thick and quite low compared to the uh, the ones that are sort of in the sun's direction now. Um, I have no composition in mind for sunset. Um, I literally just try and find something probably up here, looking down over the cove. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. It might become really overcast and then I might not bother staying around till sunset. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Just gonna have a little break, a little sit down. Um, which is perfect. Look at those views. Amazing. So, I'm going to end the vlog here guys, um, I've looked around whilst I've been doing my, my wall stuff um, and I just can't seem to find a, any more photos that I'd like to take today. The, the light has gone quite flat, uh, nothing, nothing great. Um, in terms of sunset, the thicker clouds are rolling in still, I mean it's not too bad over there. But it just looks like the, the thicker clouds are sort of heading in the west direction just to block up the, uh, the sunset. So it's a shame, but it is what it is. So I'm going to head back down to the car now, head home, grab some food. 
so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed today's vlog um and yeah hopefully see you in the next one cheers Thank you.